Hicksfield AI tutorial and review. The best AI video generator. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Hicksfield AI. Now Hicksfield AI is a relatively newer AI platform that has now become quite trendy and it has the ability to create some really fantastic videos. So let's jump right in and take a look at how we can create videos and the pros and cons of using Hicksfield. To get started, simply head on over to Hicksfield.ai and click on sign up. Now you can sign up with your email, Apple, Microsoft, Google, whatever you prefer. Once you do that, you're just going to select your preferred account and then just proceed on to the next up and our account is going to be created now to create your account you don't need to pay however to actually use some of the Hicksfield features you are going to need to upgrade to a more premium plan so if you're going to create over here and then click on create video you guys can see that you have a few different options so first off you are going to go into the top left and choose your motions starting off you're going to enter your scene let's say i want to use a video i'm going to go ahead and we're going to be using an image instead we're just going to go on ahead and I'm going to use one of these model images. Once I do that, I'm going to go into my motion controls and we have a few different types of controls you guys can see. Now within this, I want to maybe add the garden bloom effect. Then I can add the prompt. Now I can just click on enhance and it can enhance the prompt on its own. So I want the model to walk and turn into flowers. Then you can choose the model you want to use and then just click on the filters. So you have three second as well as five second videos. Then after that, you also have the seed as well as the steps. Then you just click on generate. Once you do that, you guys can see that your video is going to be put into the queue. And once it is in the queue, you're going to have to wait and it's going to give you an estimated wait time. Now, this is where it becomes really important to have a premium plan. So you guys can see that Higgsfield starts at $9 for 150 credits per month, which is pretty nice. And you can scroll down and see a detailed breakdown of, of all of their platforms and of all of their different plans. And you guys can see that credits are, you know, the unit cost. And for this, you are going to get 150 on the basic as well as 600 on the pro. And then 30 uh, and you're going to get 1500 on the ultimate. The pro plan is only $19 when it comes to annual billing. However, it is going to be $29 when it comes to monthly billing. Then it is going to be uh, $93 on monthly billing for the ultimate plan. Now it's going to be $45 regularly for the pro plan, but for for your first month, you are going to be getting 35 off. And then the ultimate plan is going to be $15 off for your first month. So you do have that opportunity of paying less. Now I'm just going to let this be run and I'll show you guys what type of video Higgsfield is going to create for us. So just like so, our video has been created and this is what our video looks like. So it looks really nice. The flowers appear in the model's hand. Now from here, we can proceed with exploring some of the other features of Higgsfield AI. Now you guys can see they have a bunch of different visual effects that you can just including eyes in, zoom out, as well as diamond, powder explosion, and more. Now, if you go into Higgsfield Soul, you will actually see some other types of images that you can create. You even have different camera controls that you can explore. So this includes rotation, arcing, bullet time, 3D rotation, crash, zoom in robo arm and more then you also have catch the pulse so you guys can see you have these movement style videos and then you have i can speak now when you go into i can speak over here you will actually see some ai avatar videos so all of these are different categories of ai avatars and you guys can see this is now you know a bunch of different talking avatars and we even have beauty over here and we can further explore the prompts that are used simply by clicking on one of these posts and once we click on one of these videos, we can actually see what the model is saying. And you can see on the top right, this generation was made without a prompt. This was the image input, and then it was just set as makeup and talk. Now, if I want to proceed with creating one of these videos, I can simply click on create and then click on speak. Once I click on speak over here, I'm going to upload my image or select an avatar. If you want, you can just select your avatar that you want to use 
from one of their pre-built avatars but i'm going to upload a image of one of my own avatars that i want to use so let's say we want to be using one of our more realistic avatars and i'm just going to explore this like so and i think i do want to be using this one once i open this up on the left you have the audio options now you can generate speech or upload and if you click on over here you can type in your transcript so let's say beauty does not lie in the eye of the beholder and then we can choose the voice we want to use starting off we are going to find a female voice and we want someone that is realistic i think i want to go with this one or someone that is beauty related so i'm just going to select beauty from the top and then we can proceed or you can click on upload and upload your own file as well and you can proceed with your prompt so within my prompt i want to add woman applies makeup and then we're going to go with basic quality and we can change the camera angle or the motion. I'm going to go into motion over here. And once I go into motion, we have static, selfie, general, selling, vape and talk. We have happy and excited, car grip, crash, zoom out, crash, zoom in. And I think I want to go with a zoom out. So I'm going to makeup and talk. I think I'm just going to go with makeup and talk and then click on generate. And once I do that, my new prompt is now going to be put in. And now I can wait a few seconds for this to be completed. And then I would be able to view my final results. Now in this way, you can do video creations. You can also do image to video. So if you only have a video, you can use that as inspo. If you have an image, you can describe the scene and create your own images as well and then convert those images now within your videos you have the ability to create a jpeg or you know png and convert that into a video but you can actually upload two so you can choose the starting frame and the ending frame now we're going to use some of their other motion effects so we're going to go into new and i want to be using something that's a bit fun. so i'm going to go ahead and search for crash once i search for crash over here we have face punch we have lens crack and i'm going to go ahead and use the crash option here then i'm going to remove the zoom in effect and then i can proceed with adding my own image for that i'm going to be using this one as well i'm not going to add any prompt and you can actually mix multiple different motion effects as well and then you're going to choose your model and then after that we're going to go with the light version as well as the steps duration and the seed now we're going to just click on generate over here and it will generate our video where we have added the face punch effect and if you want to further describe it and be more specific on how you want the motion to be within Higgs field, you can also specify the motion and the way that the motion should proceed within your prompt details. And just like so, our video has been created. So let's take a look at what this looks like. And now this is our final result. And okay, so within this, it has not added the face punch. I would have to specify how I want the face punch to be included. I do think that that is the reason why it has not included the face punch within the video. Now, this is how you can get started with Hexfield. Now, is Hexfield actually worth it? When you take a look at all of the different features of Hexfield, it is actually one of the most unique AI video tools that I've seen. It's not comparable to VO3 or Mid Journey. It has a very very different style of video editing and all of these visual effects are actually something that a lot of other AI tools cannot do whatsoever. So I do definitely think that Higgsfield is definitely worth the price and the pricing only starts at $9 a month which is pretty reasonable for 150 credits. They allow you commercial use for any of the content you create with up to two concurrent jobs that you can run. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe.